Hi, good morning there. This is me, Ian Wilshire. Now, <laughs> I may have the bands in my hand, you know, the resistance bands. And I think I've been telling you that when you use the resistance bands regularly, you will look fitter, you will look stronger. That's what I said. But I did not emphasize enough. I want to do it this morning. Visualization about how your body should look like is actually the most important part of the exercise. You may do as many visual, you may do as many resistance bands as possible, but you won't achieve the optimal health and shape of your body that you desire unless you do the visualization exercises. Now, let me explain to you why it is so important. Because your mind is everywhere in your body. And your mind tells your body how long are you going to live, what's going to happen to you, how are you going to look like. Your mind tells you because you are looking at everybody else and because you are looking at everybody else, you see how everybody else is in that age that you are now. And nobody actually gives you exercises of the mind, visualization exercises, so that you can see the body the way you want it to be. And this also concerns optimal health. Now, let me tell you something. I have experiences over the years, and everybody told me, Ian, you are wrong, wrong, wrong. It's because people are with limited mindsets. And if you have a limited, a limited mindset, you think things are not possible. You get what you see with your vi with your physical eyes. You get what you hear with your physical ears. You get what you hear, what you say with, about physical. Everything is about physicality, matter, that you can see with your five senses, or that you can experience with your five senses. Now, you have a subconsciousness and you have a consciousness. Now, your conscious mind is the most important part because your conscious mind tells your subconscious mind what to do. Your, your subconscious mind just does, just reacts according to what you say because human beings are the only beings that can tell themselves what to be like. Animals go by instinct. A dog lives up to, up to, uh, up to let me say, 15 to 20 years and that's it. Human beings are capable of living over a hundred years in optimal health. And everything depends how you visualize your body, what your body should be like. You visualize. Now, the visualization is actually the most difficult part of the whole equation because it's not easy to visualize. Because when you are visualizing yourself in optimal health, thoughts creep in. Thoughts of ill health, thoughts of, uh, you know, issues that you have, issues within the body, in your gut, everywhere else. You, these thoughts just creep in. That means you've got to do something about that. Now, it will take some time for you. That's why a lot of psychologists say it takes about 21 days to 30 days to visualize something that is absolutely correct. It takes time. And that's why I'm giving this to you. If you can do this in one day, you're okay. But it takes time to visualize something that appears real. And so when it appears real, you visualize it for one day. And the next day, you have your old thought patterns coming back again. Now, if you want to have optimal health, right? You want to be healthy, gut healthy. Uh, immune system healthy, everything healthy, then you've got to imagine, imagine that you are healthy. And you're going to, you, even if you spend two to three hours just imagining it, visualizing that you have optimal health and that your body is absolutely optimal in its health and shape and form, then you can do that. All right? That's why I said, you know, like, I'm going to give you some experiences that I had in the past. I, you know, once, uh, many years ago, I had a stroke. Yeah. So the left side of me was actually 
lame. You know, but I still had my conscious mind. And the doctor said, oh, this is going to, you know, we, we don't detect any life, any neurological life in the left side of your body. However, I thought to myself, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to imagine that I am healthy. So every day I imagine the healthy side of my body is going over to the not so healthy side. I imagine that bit by bit, bit by bit. I just had this picture in my brain, in my head to imagine that this side is becoming healthy. You know, it took me three months. I must say it took me a long time because I had to, you know, go against what doctors told me. I had to go against what other people told me with their limiting mindset. And within three months, I was completely healthy. This I too, because I, sh I pushed the ill side away slowly with the power of my mind. And this is the whole thing. This is the key. The key is visualize yourself healthy, but it takes time. Visualize every single day that you are healthy, that the cells in your body are functioning at optimal level. Visualize it. See it in your mind's eye. Because whatsoever a man thinketh, so is he. Now, thinketh doesn't just mean a quick thought, I'm healthy. No, what you think every single day, what you visualize every single day will become your experienced reality. And today, there are so many proponents of that because people are still saying, wow, it's called epigenetics, you know, epigenetics, sorry. And that means you change the genes in your body because many doctors following the old pattern will tell you it's in your genes that you're getting your stroke. It's in your genes that you're getting your heart attack. It's in your genes that you're getting this or that. They don't mention the thought. Okay, then some say it is the the diet that you have. Let, may food be thy medicine or medicine be thy food. It's good. It's fine. But let's go a step further. It is your mindset, what you think of yourself every single day and then you have to practice this you've got to practice seeing yourself as a strong healthy person and that's exactly what i'm doing now you know i'm seeing myself as a strong healthy person with power of my mind to create my body anew <laughs> you know and i even asked a friend of mine i said how can i achieve success in my best part of my body here do i need the blue pill he said no 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 it's in your mind see yourself as a vibrant person every single day in that level that means you can <clears throat> visualize every single aspect of your body and your body will react to it all right so <laughs> This is my message for you today. Visualize, visualize, visualize every single day. Even if it takes three hours today, two hours the next day, one hour the next day. But do it. Just visualize and cut out the thoughts that are contraproductive. Cut them out. And then you will see yourself. You are making out of yourself an extremely a new person. A person of power, a person of strength, a person that's muscular. You know, I don't do much training per day, but I think myself strong and muscular every single day. And you can do the same, you know, whatever part of your body. And sometimes I would even tell you, visualize your heart pumping, visualize the everyday pumping and keeping you alive, visualizing your gut working, just visualize it. If visualize your immune system functioning perfectly, boost your immune system through the power of your mind, right? Okay, that's all for today. Visualize, 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 imagine, 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 and that will come to pass. I'm going to do much, many more uh, speaking 
um, events on visualization and why I think don't give up. Do it. Do it. And do it. Okay, thank you for today. Have a great day.